Hello everyone, my name is Sinner and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so how do I get into Mount Galdner? Okay, I guess we'll spend the next 20 minutes trying to figure out how to get into Mount Gelmer. Because <laughs> there's a broken bridge I think we found. Okay, this is the place we were at, and there was this broken bridge that we can't get past. Maybe there's a place we can go up to get around. So that place might be... We may or may not be able to... There's a stone pillar. Maybe actually get up there. How do we actually get into the area? Okay. Galmore? Gilmore? What the fuck is it, man? Gallimir. Okay, we have steps now. So how do we get there? Okay, maybe there's like a rock bridge or something. So let's go over there. And not leave until we figure out how to get there. That should be fine. Because we're playing on a build to have more health to have more health or something where we wouldn't just get one shotted by literally everything. <laughs> then uh yeah, we would probably be able to do a bit more Okay, so there's evidently some ladders or something. I'm not sure where these ladders are, but evidently. Oh, there we go. Of course, there's an enemy after us, I think. Yep. yep. There we go. We might be out of their range now. Yes, we're out of their range. Tree buddy. And now they start climbing the ladder. <laughs> we're like, hold up. Now I just need to find the ways to get infinite FP or negate FP cost. So we can just nuke them endlessly. And then we have to get enough hit points to from the mimic tier, so the mimic tier can also nuke them endlessly. <laughs> and then we can kill the bosses when uh, we can't actually fight them. I don't know exactly where the common Azir is. So. 
Let's go see what we can find. I come across this much earlier and I didn't know how to get up here. Oh. I see killing them as the answer. He worked for the wrong lord. Okay, that works. Ah. Alright, sounds good. All we want is their items. We don't care about anything else. Of course, if we have more hit points, we could like hammer up, we, not hammer. We could kind of hammer them. Blow them to pieces. Well, most likely is this. You can kill them from extreme range. Well, not extreme range, from fairly decent range. With no danger to our sales. And if he uses a uh, two-handed weapon, <laughs> may the ring help him. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so he's as good as dead. Sounds good. To use a shield will require four hits because it'll start blogging. Two, three, four, five. Four, five hits if they get their shield up in time. That works. It says a uh, short detour or something for the common days. That's about all I know. Okay, so these guys require three. These uh, spearmen, I think that's it. Yeah, spearmen. Very useful against horses when the horses have to get in melee with you. Okay, so what is up there? Two. Okay, cool. You didn't manage to do anything to us. Let's uh, take a sip, like it's like it's tequila or something. And then let's go up here and uh, let's see what we can do. Most likely, whoever's up here will one shot us. Be wary of ladder. Indeed. The most vile of all enemies. Also, be wary of gravity. Takes more lives than you can imagine. So it's your thing. 
the pulley bow. Alright, sounds good. over here and see if there's anything we can find out here. Some, some, something over here. Oh, it's a deer. Bounce bit. Get some thin beast bones if we want. What else is out here then? Come on, can I get off the fucking horse already? <laughs> I don't get it. Like, you should be able to get off the horse at any time. Instead of it needing to be on, like, even terrain or something. Any time. Okay, so what is down here? We're probably going down into the under dark again. Yep. Heading down to the under. Down into the great, down to the dark lands. I'm gonna send this back up. Anything down the. Okay, never mind. Gelmir. Gelmir Heroes Grave. Alright then. What is in the Gelmir Heroes Grave then? So just another catacombs. How are the enemies here? Okay, nothing there. Ah, oh, seems familiar, but fire. Oh, fire. All right then. Oh no. Run. Yeah, and you can't kill that either, by the way. Okay, sounds good. Alright, so now, <laughs> at this point, I'm gonna look. Okay, so now that we have an idea of where this is, uh, interact map. Where exactly is it? So what we need to do is we need to just leave this. We can't leave this. Can we go down there? No. Okay. So pull this back down. Can you fall in there? No. So we will go back out there. So we don't need to go in here yet. It's good that we unlocked it, but we don't need to go here yet. And when precisely am I able to teleport? Is it when I go outside? Yeah, I have to go outside first. Okay. Now I can teleport. Yeah. Alright, so we just need to go around 
here and we just need to go around the perimeter of this. And then that'll let us uh, get over there. We can start summoning it where we can get that specific spell. Yeah, that's probably a shortcut down. Hello, friendo. Goodbye, friendo. Okay. He's coming for us, by the way. Rare stones lead the way to riches. Sounds good. Probably the Alpha Club, because it's probably Patches. Or it's a vendor. One of the two. But it's Rainbow Stone, so it's probably Patches. What's that? Oh, it's one of you guys! I remember you. Mr. Grafted Scion. Can we hit him with this? Maybe. We're probably dead though. We're not dead, but he is. Oh no! Ah. Right, that's right. We need to take a sip. We can shoot him a bunch more. Maybe they'll think we're out of mana. Out of focus points. I just need to shoot him once more. Alright, down he goes. I'm guessing if you don't have the weapons from the starting area, you get them now. Now that they're completely useless. Well, not useless, but now that they're nowhere near what they could be. Okay, there's more climbing to do. Hmm. Alright then, let's do more climbing then. I assume that if you try climbing up the ladder to avoid him, he just jumps and gets you. Because he is a very jumpy boy. Okay, so where are we on the map? Nice. We're decent. Some marionette soldiers over there. Seem to be some steps to get up here. Okay, let's try this. Assume the character will actually get up there. Hello, friendo! Goodbye, friendo! <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he showed us. I'm actually looking forward to uh, doing another playthrough that's just the like a dragon priest. Because then I have a major incentive to go and kill all the dragons. Hello? Goodbye. Okay, sounds... Huh? More of you guys. Are you bad? Alright. Gotcha. More Kakuglin stones. Alright, so... What else is over here, then? Oh, welcome, dear customer. 
Yes, right this way. Right this way. We'll get back to you. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just like that, uh... You guys have ever seen Army of Darkness? Evil Dead, it's basically Evil Dead 3, so there's Evil Dead 2, which is a comedy. Evil Dead 1 was Bruce Campbell tried to make a serious horror movie, and it just turned out to be hilarious. Then they remade it as a, as a comedy. And it worked out great. <laughs> we made Evil Dead 3, it's basically called Army of Darkness. And then that was just really, really funny. Okay. Don't worry. I have full faith in your ability to fight. <laughs> no! They did it! <laughs> Is what it is. Oh god, we're here again. <laughs> that base don't have quivers. I bet it does. So if you ever want an argument for why not being able to teleport out of these is stupid, now you've got it. So I'm assuming it's to prevent people from running into one of these, getting in a getting an essential item, and then running out. Again, it's one of those scenarios where there's probably a good reason for it. Probably, maybe, hopefully. Now, send it back down just in case. I wonder if the grafted scion is back. That could be interesting. But anyway, we know what direction we need to go. Let's make sure we teleport over here. <laughs> so that we don't have to go back. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, yeah, good. For fun. It's time to run past everyone. That's age-old tradition. Of souls. Where you run past literally all of the enemies. And tag them on the way over. You know, whoever wrote that message... Oh, wait, no, that is the merchant. Okay. The merchant we saw. You another grafted sail? No. Well, oh, let's start climbing. I mean, I would, I would expect a, a message from Patches to be like, free candy getting to my wife, and. <laughs> what I expect from Patches. Turns out Badges is secretly an organ, a, uh, an organ seller. Okay, so how far can those guys jump? Can they get to us from here? They can climb ladders, though. So that could be a problem. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna make ourselves invisible <laughs> and then just run past everything. All right, here's the plan. Step one, what do we not need? I guess we can get rid of that one. Step two, hidden four. Step three, get on the horse. <laughs> we don't necessarily need to make ourselves invisible yet. But in due time. Alright. <laughs> someone needs to name someone needs to make a character name it patches. And then just be like free candy. That will be great. Okay, so up we go. When we get to this next area, we will go invisible. <clears throat> I don't even know if this is the correct path. It, it might be, it might not be. Okay. Hidden form. You may or may not be aware of us. He is not aware of us. He'd be pursuing us if he was. Okay, let's go up the ladder. And then we will continue looking around, seeing what we can do. Let's get it. Got that guy and his buddies. Who's hot and over day. So what's over here? Death? Probably death. Oh hey! Nice, a small grace. I like this. Okay. So we can take Torrent to go up there, or we can... Let's see, where are we? Oh, if we can get over here, we can unlock a map. So we want to go that way. Let's see if we can get over there. Maybe. Those are probably one shots. Which means being invisible is probably more, probably better for us. Okay, so we need to get down there. And we might be able to unlock the map for this area. Let's reapply. Oh good, a map. We like this. Okay, good. We got the map for Mount Gilmer. So, I was watching a uh, streamer play this, and they were going a uh, more armored traditional Dark Souls build, and uh, I was getting knocked around by things left and right, surviving for forever. Okay, so, where's the map? 
Interesting. Okay. So we're here. And we need to go over here. You go over here somewhere. Okay, it's what it is. So maybe if we go... I don't know if we... Yeah, I think we have to go up there, right? Maybe. But we can always come back if we need to actually go this way. I'm not looking up how specifically they got there. I'm sort of just seeing where they have it kind of on their map. And how it's kind of placed. We need to go around that. Then we can get our boss killer. Then we can go and kill bosses. So I think we need to get up there. Oh, let's just get over there. Yeah, right. Alright, so we need to somehow get up there. I'm not sure how we do that. We need to go to Peru, Mount Gilmer. Okay, so it would be the fastest way to get through there. We could use that to jump over here, maybe. This seems to be below that, though. We need to get over here. Maybe we can use these crags over here to get on top of that. But how do we get up there? Maybe it's at the end of that tunnel? Probably a ladder down here. So let's try that. We want to use that to get down here. Oh yeah, that is definitely a, uh, that's definitely a death drop. So we're going to circumvent this. That enemy. That field boss. Into an unseen form and... Okay, that's a... Or each one of those is probably one shot. We have enough golden seeds to give ourselves another flask, which is nice. actually does anything for us, but why not? Oh, another set of gears. Can we actually get to it though? Yes, we can. Let's take a sip. Let's go invisible again. Let's keep making our way forward. Let's also make sure we activate this. So we can do lots of PvE, uh, lots of PvE 
when we we get to that point. Alright, so dead god Godro God Godrikian soldiers, Godrokian. Hello, Bernie boys. You are going to explode now. Another one of those. That sounds good. And this just leads down there. I was expecting it to be one shots. So they don't one shot us. that beast blood. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go back to our latest bonfire. Our latest side of grace. And I'm hoping I don't have to go through the entire manor just to get there. Maybe there's no boss hogs. I have to go through to get there. That would be nuts. Can't necessarily rely on that though. So all we care about is getting here. We don't actually care about anything else. Um, maybe we can get there through the mountain itself. Oh, you know what it probably is? The side of the path we didn't take. Let's go to the other path we didn't take because we took pro we took forward progress. So it's probably the other one. We inadvertently chose forward progress. So let's inadvertently, let's purposely then, advertently, take, uh, not forward progress. We can go chat with the merchant as well. Be like, well, I'm custom. It's been a while since I had somebody who didn't try to kill me immediately. By the way, this is Guy handing out free candy from his white van. I think his name was Itches or something, or Hatches. He offered to show me where the really good treasure was. Should I take him up on that? <laughs> okay, because we don't know what's over here, so... Oh, hello. Can they hit us from there? Maybe. Okay, it doesn't look like they, like they can. But I think we're in the clear. Ah, oh, welcome. Dear Yes, right this way. Right this way. Welcome, valued customer. Please, I'm hungry. What does he got? Eastern Sword, Medic Warrior's Cookbook, and Confessor Gear. The Guilty Hood, huh? Oh. The guard of those accused of lesser crimes, indicated by a color of sharpened branches. Splits of Great Bolts, Ballista Bolts, 
Sounds good. Thank you, customer. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, what else is here? Alright, so... Yeah, the world is the... I think the issue that FromSoft is kind of running into with this open world compared to previous FromSoft games they haven't had to worry about is actually telling the player where to go. <laughs> actually flagging how the character gets there. But it is their first open world game, right? <clears throat> They've done King's Quest and stuff like that in the past, but nothing on this scale. So it isn't entirely fair to, uh, to 100% the eye of your lair. Uh, okay. Is, is this it? Hello, you. Hello, madman. Goodbye, man, man. Okay, madman. Can't open the map because of him. So I don't think we're any. I don't think we're necessarily closer to where we need to be. Hmm. Okay. So we still need to get down there. Wait a second. He's not able to jump up to us. So that's good. He's like, hey, get down here and fight me. <laughs> okay, let's look up how specifically to get there. Okay, so. Riding through Valley towards Bridge of Into Inquity. Iniquity. Jump while riding torrent. Okay. All right, you'll see a wind vortex leading up the cliffs. Split spring. Cross the bridge, the iniquity grace side. Continue along the path until you see a ladder inside of the cliff. It has torches on either side of it. Once you're at the top, keep riding up mount. Two more. Make it across a bridge made of rock. Huh? Okay. That's not actually helpful. Uh, let's see. Maybe this will be better. <laughs> So where do I fucking go to get this?
All right, I have a better idea. Go to YouTube. We get what is it called? Comet Azure. show you how to get and use the most powerful sorcery spell in all of Elden Ring. Now this one is a very late game spell only because the intelligence requirement is astonishing and it just drains your FP. It's like a casted spell. So this is the Azure Comet. I can't show you for it. This is why Super Room Warrior each takes my intake level behind it. So, the, so North here will have a boss that you can actually just skip um, and then I will show you how the tree grazing hill way up here you'll head I don't have the map and I apologize but it's north like right along the uh, precipice across a lake through a ravine left through the ravine all the way over to this and then you go southwest and follow all the paths and I think the craftsman shack is where you actually end up at I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here okay never mind it's actually this one right here so you actually end up looping all the way through the craftsman shack then up through a path to get over to this that is where it's at. So I'm going to show you how to get there. You're going to head north along this precipice. And then here. you're going to head from the Erd Tree Grazing Hill. Over here. You're going to head north along this precipice. And then through the town. And there will be a path you can take to get to the mountain that we want to go to. The volcan Volcanic Mountain. I can't remember the name. Mount. Start with the G. Mount so you just appear Mount Gelmir. That was how to say it. Okay, well, we haven't found that one yet. I guess. <clears throat> so. We will go there, I guess. And we'll just go find the item and do our thing. You're down here, I think it is. Well, that would explain things. We haven't uh, been through there, really, at all. So we'll go back to the Bridge of Iniquity, and then we will go around. Yeah. Let's go down here. I know, buddy. <sighs> hmm. we go over that direction. If there's whatever that is. Or whatever those are. Alright, let's keep going. And those dudes have lots of madness filled up on them right now. Well, the uh, other guys we were fighting have lots of madness. I'm assuming the other of these people do as well. <clears throat> Is it over here? Well, there's this. Okay, so we've got this one now. If you're wondering, we've unbound crouch and dismount so we don't crouch. Because it was stopping us from dodging. So we said, no thanks. Okay, Erd Tree Grazing Hill. Okay, so from here it's just exploring. Sounds good. So we need to get over here, and we're probably going to do that by getting through all of this. So we need, probably need to go up here, and then probably up here somehow, and then through there. Sounds good. Let's do it. The 
beast I quivers. Oh, it's one of you guys. Don't worry, we'll be back. I'll be back for you. Oh my. Well, we'll be back for you. I have an objective right now. I have an objective and I don't really care. You are just being summoned everywhere, aren't you? Do I need to like quit the game to, des to have you despawn? Okay, he's finally bugged off. Okay, so this isn't where we need to be. I mean, we're here. We might as well see if there's a... Might as well get the next side of Grace. If there's one over here. Will we turn back? And those little geysers will most likely one-shot us when they hit us. Those. No, no, that's us. Legends. Can't hit anything today. This just looks fantastic. Corpses falling from the sky. Wonderful. Wonderful. Volcanic stones, more volcanoes, more little vents coming out. Turn out that there's, there's no side of grace, but instead just death. A do with a blister. Okay, good, there's one. Excellent. Let's activate it. Let's go back to the other one. Well, we ran far, didn't we? Bird tree grazing fee. Let's do. This time, instead of going through that ravine, we need to go up. Out on the Altus Plateau. Of course, we might have to kill that mariner just to get them to leave us alone. But I'm not sure. Let's try making ourselves harder to see. So if we can get over here, if we can get up there, maybe that'll work for us. We're out in wind high then. Uh, the good old soul's tradition of run past everything. I love it. Where are we? Not quite where we need to be. Okay, sounds good. Maybe we have to get on... Because that doesn't go high enough. This one does.
But a new area to unlock. So that works. We can unlock this side of Grace, then activate the uh, co op area. Can't find where we're supposed to go relatively quickly. Well, well, we will continue watching more of that dude's video until we find out where we're supposed to go and how to get there. Get up here. No. Too steep. We can't go over there. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go to either that catacomb or maybe that fortress. Potentially. Again. We don't have to. I don't know. Okay, some arrows. Nice. Hello, friend. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Barrage. Very nice. Well, I'm. I have no idea where we're supposed to go. Uh, maybe we have to get up. I mean, we always have to get over here, right? I'm not sure how we do that. Uh, we have to get over here, I guess. So. Let's go over there. Let's watch the rest of his video. this I'll show you where this one is on the map after I rest at it because this guy's about to no I can't even rest at it okay I can't even show you on the map well let's keep going north I'll show you on the map once I get far enough away from the boss now watch out for these things they do crazy amounts of damage so if you're lower level don't even get near those if you have no HP okay so Mount um Mount Gelnir River it was the Seathwater River it's right here on the map relative to the other one so now we're progressing further down in the ravines, in this direction, to the north, trying to get through here. Alright, so... Where is it? Okay, so once you make it through that perilous journey, uh, we had it left, or west, and the fork in the road, and following the river in the mountain canyon. Now we have the Seath Water Terminus, over here on the map. So now... From the Seath Water Terminus, we are going to mount up. We're going to go west towards this castle, but we're also going to head south. We're not going to go in the castle to get this. We're going to go south of the castle. Now, if you go this way, you'll see a bunch of crazy stuff, as always. And you'll just follow the uh, mountain on, the, on your left. And over here, you'll see a gigantic pool of lava with a boss, a magma worm, but we're not going to fight the magma worm. We're just going to go around the magma worm. And then you'll go on this way, 